So today I'm gonna dig in and talk a little bit about my experience with this fish, Protomelas taniolatus, Namalenia Island. And for us oldies from the 80s and 90s in the hobby, this is probably one of the most iconic haplochromis, and for many it still is today. There are many reasons for that statement, but first of all, this was very early traded with. Second of all, this is a rustic hypochromis, which means it can blend with both its own kind and alnocara and different kind of bigger uh, hypochrome uh, fishes, but also with the smaller, more, uh, more little bit territorial and aggressive ambunas, and that gives this fish an edge over many other. Now, normally this is kind of a peaceful fish. Uh, they have some internal aggression, but unlike what you see here, this male, he is protecting now a piece of sand where the female come, you can see here the gray one, for spawning. And by this time he will be frenetically and uh, very intensively uh, guard his territory towards anybody. So in this time, when, when they are spawning or pre-spawning they can be quite fierce but normally it's a fish that can will blend in and will be tough enough to stay fully colored with many different kind of fishes as i mentioned before it has gone by trade names like hindiri red and press and also by location Boadzulu. and Boadzulu is a location where you have protomelas tanulatus but those fishes that exist around that location is more predominantly blue. They only have some red on the anal fin. And far away on Namalenya Island, you will find this red and press type, the one with predominantly flanked red. And the reason why they label it with Boadzulu is probably uh, like often in the trade with cichlids and exporting, that you should be very critical with what information you get and how they pair the wild animals that you get. Because in this case, it's about competition. Exporters wanted to limit other exporters to find these red ones so that they can own the market and send them in. So therefore, they misled it in a way to hide and keep the market on their own. So this is another male, and then the initial one. And this is a wild caught male from Namalenje, and probably the best I ever had. If you look at him structure wise, he's very compact, very powerful. And when the black stripes diminish a little bit and the red comes forward, him being a bit aggressive over the other Protomelas male here, you will see the full color. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just a magnificent specimen. You can expect these guys to grow quite big in centimeters. Uh, a wild, even a wild male will be around 15 to 18 centimeters. And that would be in American, that would be around six to seven inches. Anything bigger than that, then you probably have overfed these guys as they are very proud to be overfed. And we are also very proud to feed our fishes far too much. The boat sexes differs. Uh, in the premature stage, they are both silvery with uh, black ribbons or black stripes, sorry. And uh, by sexual uh, maturity, the males will outgrow the females, and even subdominant males will show more uh, distinct fins and, and, and a thicker, more compact body. And uh, even a male that is not dominant will still, you can still see. A little bit shades of the colors coming through the gray or the silvery. This distinction between the sexes normally uh, occurs around 8 to 10 months or around 8 to 10 centimeters for the males to start to sh show their colors and uh, that will be 4 to 5 inches in American way. So by size they demand quite big aquarium so the minimum i would say is like 540 liters 540 or 143 gallons and if you have that aquarium i would say one male and three females to keep him busy and no no stress for the females otherwise more males <laughs> 